Hey Libra, it's me D. Let's play cards. Oh boy. All right, y'all. Let's see what's going on. Ooh. All right. Oh, there's two of them. Don't look back unless you're you plan on going that way. You're planning on going that way. Unknown. I've done a couple of readings today and I pulled out a few of these cards. Every single one of them is said unknown. Uh, the greatest danger for most of us is not that our aim is too high, but that it's in we. The greatest danger for most of us is not that our aim is too high and we miss it, but that it is too low and we reach it. So, Michelangelo, it's never over. It's never done. We're never fully healed. We have never learned all the lessons. I mean, there's always more to do, more to see, and more to be. Uh, always a reason to grow and learn and to uh, make new goals. Uh, ooh, I don't know. It's going to be one of them fucking days. All right, let's see what's going on for my Libra friends. Libra, ooh, okay. Ah, oh, blessed, 22. Oh shit, I wish I just, ugh. Grace, that is an unforeseen gift from spirit. I'm trying to push in this stuff under my desk. I can't go in any further. All right. A new life, new beginnings, new ideas. Uh, this is in reverse. That is allowing dreams to arise. Is that the one? I don't know. Yes. Uh, time for a nap. I do love naps. It's happening for you, not to you. So let's grab another card. I don't even know why I put them down. Shit. Serendipity, the signs and the synchronicities. That's the one I saw. That's the one I talked about. That is the one I'm going to take. You can go back into Archangel Michael. And I was thinking about him with the Michelangelo thing. So we just might as well take him too. Uh, anywho, there is this envy and lack and dissatisfaction right here. So that could be an underlying vibe. All at, at face value, this looks pretty good. I would say like, yay, let's stop right now because once I start digging in, you know that's going to change. So Archangel Michael is about security, stability, family, your root chakra, uh, traditions, values, the moral compass. It comes, it stems from there. Uh, serendipity, like I said, opportunities, readiness. Like, are you seeing the signs and synchronicities? Are you ready to go at a moment's notice? I don't know. Is that what we're supposed to be doing? Because I don't know about that. I just got here. Where are we going now? Oh, God. New beginning. There's the rabbits. And I've already heard rabbits today. I was getting my groceries. And the kid putting the groceries in the car is like, oh, hi, puppy. Did you just have a spa day? And I was like, oh, he totally did. He had to because he was all matted because somebody didn't take care of him and brush him because he got fucking hair. Anywho. Yeah. So he is cute. Oh my God, you like animals. He's like, yeah. At my boyfriend's house, uh, there was this lost little bunny. He didn't have his mom. So he told me that they called somebody and had to come pick him up and stuff. So the bunnies, I mean, that has nothing to do with anything other than the rabbits are around. The rabbits are also very timid and shy. Something may have to do with pregnancy or getting pregnant. Sex and procreation is also rabbits. I don't know what cards I want. Let's, let's, let's have, actually, let's play, no, no. Wheel of Fortune. Okie dokie. Let's play cards. Two of Wands, a decision. Where are you gonna go? What are you gonna do? What's this opportunity that is right straight ahead of you, ahead of us, ahead of, oh, the magician communication it's something that you have manifested the king of pentacles security job stability uh, is communicating from the heart to someone about security and stability all right let's 
see y'all. Let's see. What's this uh, blessings and shits going on over here? Ace of Pentacles, a financial opportunity, a motherfucking blessing. Here you go. This is for you, a star. Oh, wow. It's a lot of stars out. That is about spirit guides. Grace that is an unforeseen gift from the universe that's happening for you, not to you. Uh, yeah. Temperance. Oh boy, the fool is a new opportunity right behind there. Balance is uh, very important. To stay in balance in order to get the opportunities. I just had like this whole conversation and I don't even know what we're talking about. The six of pentacles, that's the seven of pentacles. That's an investment. That is another gift. I mean, this is a financial opportunity and the six of pentacles is a gift. Somebody is gifted. Uh, ooh, somebody wants to invest in someone here, invest in someone's future. The future is very important. See? Queen of Pentacles. Somebody is invested in the future of the person and of the people or of their partner or partnering up with someone. Fucking. If, if I could just tell you what came out. Uh, so the chariot. Where are the people going? Where is everyone going? Where is the healing? What? what, what, what? King and Queen of Pentacles. This is. Two of Wands. And the chariot. Where do we go from here? The lovers. And the ace of cups. That's a lot of love. And then there's the king of cups. The three of swords. <sighs> why? Why? I just need to know why. Everybody can't mind their own business. The demons out here uh, with all these blessings. So I don't know, like, if people are not listening, like, all right, this is where you are, and this is what you should be doing. What What is everyone doing? Because there's some fucking nightmare come, going around. There's some magic something going around this partnership. Always be specific when you lie. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. What are we trying to talk about right here? Gifts, Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Those are new beginnings, solid new beginnings. So what's the trick here? Uh, yeah, Neptune. What's the trick? I feel like there is one. See? This is what I'm talking about. I feel like the people, they can be happy. They can have the things that they want. Whether you're in the partnership, out of the part, I don't even know what's happening over here. There's a choice to make about a partnership here about the giving and the taking and the investments in the partnership. What are you gonna do? Who do you wanna be? Uh, six of cups, pick it and do it. Stay it, be it. I don't even fucking know, that was the ace of swords. Can I have one here? I don't know why you're being so confused today. The two of cups. See, what's up with that partnership? And the ace of swords, it's happening for you, not to you. The Two of Cups is with the Seven of Cups. That's the Nine of Cups. The things that you have, I don't know. Don't try to be... Uh, 
People just got to make up their minds. Whatever illusion is around, whatever the people think that they're going to come at the Libra with, I would suggest that people don't do that. Also, there's like a lot of confusion around the new life, around the Libra, around the partnership. People have questions about a partnership. People are questioning partners, questioning the future of a partnership. Some shit was like built to last. Can I have another card? Seven of Swords, Six of Swords. That's the Four of Swords, which was just at the bottom of the deck. So built to last. And again, like unbothered, like I'm just gonna, we're gonna not participate in some of these things. When the people are poking, sometimes it's not necessary to poke back. Somebody's trying to get somebody off their throne or to get somebody to show their true colors or get to somebody to drink or to over drink or something like that. Somebody's trying to like kick somebody off their pedestal, like off your high horse you go. But I don't think so. Good luck with that. Good luck with that, five of wands. The opposition, the opponents, the people that don't want the partnership, the people in the middle of the partnership, or there's people on the outside looking at you. I don't even know. There's people that don't mind their own motherfucking business. Oh, God. All right. And the, the time for a nap, there's a fox on there, and the Seven of Swords is a fox, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. What is the signs and the syn synchronicities, whatever the fuck? The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Chariot. Taurus, Aquarius, Cancer, Virgo, Virgo, Six of Wands. Somebody, uh, there's too many people. That's all I can just really. Three of swords. There's too many people. Somebody wants the people to be miserable. Uh, the success and the victory and the forward movement, the soul searching. I feel like there's people talking about this and they're like, Psh. Are you kidding me? They can't do that. They won't do that. They haven't done that. They're not that cool. I think somebody is that cool. Seven of Swords. All right, so give me another one on this. Ten of Pentacles. The King of Swords. King and Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Who are the people? on the outsides of the shits. And why don't you look at your own stuff? People, pay attention, the hangman, to the things that are going on right in front of you, within your family, within your home, within your shit. Everybody's always worried about what everyone else is doing. There is a huge karmic um, payout here. The Wheel of Fortune. Focus, people, focus. What is this? Archangel Michael, what are you doing? The hermit. Hermiting, soul searching, guiding the people and being the light for the people to come towards. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, that's all about stability as well. And the Ten of Wands is too much. It's way too much. And there's the Queen of fucking Pentacles again with the Six of Wands. Ooh, justice. Five of Pentacles. Uh, I don't want you to win. I can't have you win. I can't have this. These people are like, I cannot, I will not give up on hurting the Libra. On. Mm -hmm. 
Pushing, pushing, pushing. Somebody is very pushy. Why do they hate the Libra so much is what I want to know. The Queen of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Sun. Because you just go wherever the Sun is. The Sun's always around you because people like you. Because you're popular. Because you can move on. And the people are being left in regrets here. Because of the past. Because that's the Six of Cups. The Ace and the Five is the Six here. You just take your heart and you're like, well, go fuck that. You know, like, I'm just going to take my shit. I'll go over here. I mean, whatever. Six and eight is 14. That's the five of cups. There's a lot of regrets here. The people are standing back just watching the fucking sunshine. Or they're gonna be. If they're not already. Again, it's a lot of people. All right, y'all. Yeah, a lot of people. Public society. There's a lot of people watching. Something to do with a party or gathering. Power struggles. I already see. What is this? Death. There we go with the dead people. A lot of dead people. A lot. What is this with the blessings? An adventure, vacation, traveling, overseas, going places. An adventure, where, where, where's the people going? Where are you going? Uh, alpha male, somewhere. The chariot, holy shit. That's more traveling. Uh, spirits right smack in the middle of things with the blessings. And this is the element of spirit. Also, the yin and the yang, they get the things done together. Something about this fucking king of cups, man. What are you doing? Something may have to do with a level of maturity. Oh boy, something's up with this woman. Who is she? Things are unfolding. The Empress and an opportunity, a diamond ring, something about marriage and the partnership of the marriage across. It's like a, I don't even want to. There's like, oh, and there's another woman. Things breaking down to make something else. Somebody, they fucking hate the people, okay? I don't want you to be happy. I can't have you be happy. This is not going to work for me. It just is not. The people watching, they're all pissed off. I don't know. The communication is fucked up here. I feel like just like putting the cards down and stopping. Because we're not. I'm, I'm just not today. I don't feel like it. Why does everyone fucking hate Libra? Can you tell me that, spirit? And it's not everyone, okay? Relax yourself. It's a handful. That's five. Just saying. The artist. You hold the infinite power of creation with you, the divine artist. Create something beautiful today. Feel the stars shining. You are one with the universe and nature. The eternal light of creation shines through you forever, and that's why. And I saying something about the shining light at the end down there. And the things had to do with creativity and beauty and all the things. You can't help but keep looking at you. Balance. I did say everything was about balance. All is perfect just the way it is. I want to acknowledge every part of you and you'll find the balance you are seeking. Angel over me. Protection card. Angel wings surround you, trust, replace, fear with love. You are eternally held safe within the arms of the angels. I told you there was, like, that's Archangel Michael, but there's a lot of ancestor uh, energy around. 
It's making it really hard to concentrate. The black dragon cocoons you so that your divine potential grows. Meditate, reflect, and undergo a metamorphosis. Uh, and if you can't... You don't tell the people how to behave, you show them. And so, like, I think I already said this today, whatever, whatever. I just don't feed into anyone's shit. I don't. Um, like, I am a happy person, and I don't like when people fucking change my day. This is one of my uh, lovely uh, subscribers, Chrissy, who's totally awesome. She gets readings. We've become close friends from uh, YouTube. I'm thankful for that. That's so nice. But what was my point? I don't even fucking know. That wasn't it at all. Oh, no, yes. Anywho. Oh, so we were talking about it this morning, like the people having meltdowns around us. Like, you know, your dog wouldn't take a shit. I'm like, the fuck? You got me a dog and now you want to yell at me because it won't poop? You could go take the dog and bring it someplace else. I just sat there quiet. These are all things I could say, but why? Because that's just going to piss him off even more. And he's having a tantrum. Like a grown-ass fucking tantrum. And then he's going to quit his job because his dog isn't doing the things that it should. And he doesn't want to work when he goes to work because he's getting too much attention at home. Why are you telling me? Because I'm not giving him the attention. I'm not giving him a ton of snacks. I'm not letting him out of his kennel. That's all you. Again, I said nothing. I mean, I could say plenty of shit. All your fault. You, 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 you. Okay? You are the problem. But instead, I just sat there and I listened. And I'm like, hey, are you hungry? You want some breakfast? I think it's time to eat because you're a little grumpy. So, fed him. I go away. I come back and he's like, thank you for always having my back. You just let me do my thing and like literally have a tantrum. And I'm like, I know. I don't need to fuel your fire. I don't need to stoke your ego. I don't need to tell you you're wrong. You're right. None of that. This is the, this is the, not everything requires a motherfucking response too. And we can't fix everything for everyone. And there's not always, you know, a role to play. It's none of that is none of my business. You know what I mean? He knows it's his dog too. Like, why are you mad at me? I will be out them all by myself. Like, I didn't ask for help. I, I don't know. So I basically got an apology and all I did was smile and listen. Fueling people's fire is not necessarily helpful. I also feel like <sighs> just love is very important. Extremely important and love of the self is the most important. So he ended up leaving and he had to go do something and he calls me, tell me he's going to be late or whatever. No big deal. Like, I don't care. And then he just starts laughing because he's not doing something that he wants to do and it got all fucked up. And I'm just like, yeah, that's all you can do is laugh. What are you, you going to do? I can be miserable. Every five minutes you're yelling about something. You don't have to. All you do when is getting yourself pissed off. So the emperor just came out. Aries. King of Wands action. An active leader with this black dragon. Helping the people change, watching the people change, changing thyself. Because the same shit over and over and over again, it doesn't work. The whip. Somebody has an explosive temper. Although, let me just tell you real quick, those are both very much about sex. And there's something big about, look at this fire. There's something big about church, about the cross, about marriage, about information about those things, uh, about monogamy, about faithfulness, uh, challenging the status quo. It's like a... Uh,
Mm, I don't know what I was going to say. The perspective here is tough. There's a lot of problems, a lot of blockages, a lot of information that is out there that needs to be gotten is what it looks like. Police station. I just saw a fucking criminal too. Like, I, I am over it, y'all. Can I have another one? Murder. Get the fuck out of here. Oh boy. I don't know. Somebody could literally be getting themselves in trouble. There's a fucking police station, a courthouse, or something up here. I know my rights. I mean, the only other thing is partners. And we are talking about a bunch of partners and partnerships. And there's more traveling and navigating. Insane people. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The vehicle. More, 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 more traveling. Padded walls and Looney Tunes. There's more sex. Sex in the city. That's kind of funny because it says big city and that says sex in the bedroom. I don't know. The history. Bullying. Well, now what is going on here? Somebody thinking that um, somebody is being unfaithful. Like, what is going on here with the insomnia? There is a lot of not sleeping. Somebody's trying to expose someone, Libra. Maybe try to expose you. So I don't know if someone's trying to like push your buttons to make you like act or react. Like, is this why we're talking about what the fuck happened this morning? I mean, which really wasn't a big deal, but we have control over ourselves. Is there something about bad health? Tossing and turning, a lot of worrying, PTSD, the dreams are big, a lot of regrets. They're fucking tormenting people with the history. It just keeps coming back and back and back. Something about a bad neighborhood, possibly. Somebody feels threatened here via the history or by someone in the past. Maybe somebody's history is catching up to them. Maybe somebody didn't add the things up properly. There's something traveling to a city. Somebody doesn't want to sleep alone. And today he also said, which I kind of feel like this too, he's like, I, I, the people from my past or whatever, they just wish I was dead or that I would drop dead. And I feel like I know a few people that feel that way about me. They wish I would just like disappear off the face of the earth. Like they don't really care what happens to me as long as I just disappear. Ex-husband and children. Sorry guys, still here. I'm oh, sorry. The memories, they don't go away. They don't fade. The people, it's like full blast in people's faces. Looking at you, watching you, wondering what you're doing, trying to expose you for something or something about being a fraud, possibly. I mean, the things drive these people crazy. Something about a forced commitment. Somebody could need therapy, losing their marbles, paranoid about losing a commitment, quite possibly. Always be specific when you like, right? I don't believe you, red flags, ask questions. Clean up your mess, no one is you and that's your superpower. Uh, a wreckage, making amends. 45, somebody could be 45. Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, how would you like it if I did the shit to you, huh? Mr. Narcissist, you wouldn't like it. Just saying. 
Never think you are above. Never believe you're above anyone. Keep a humble spirit, a spiritual team, ancestors, angels, earth angels, lessons, karma, and interference. I told you they were all here. Uh, with the superpowers, that's a real thing as well. The leveling up and leveling up and leveling up just keeps happening. We never stop. Uh, don't make yourself easy for everyone. Yeah, that's not a thing. We don't do that. Always wear gloves at a crime scene. When we're our own problem, I feel like someone's going to get themselves in trouble. Like, big time. Don't accept an apology from someone that just sucker punched you. Red flags, reevaluate. You're your own worst enemy. Take a step back. I already said a lot of these things before we even did. Did this deck. Alert, change, censorship, information, and breaking news, world news. Don't stop when you're tired, stop when you're done. If opportunity doesn't knock, fill the door. You can make the things happen. Whoever has no rule over his spirit is like a broken down city without walls. When we're our own problem, that's a meltdown, that's a tantrum, a broken down city without walls. That's Proverbs 25, 28, I think. But, nonetheless, we're our own worst enemies, apparently. Or some of us are. Or the people around us, and they need help. I think somebody always needs some sort of help. We talk about that a lot, too. Defeat supernatural evil. The devil is motherfucking everywhere. And he doesn't want any of us to be fucking happy. Less desire and sell your soul. He's going to offer people things oppression and evil rule or he has offered them things and they got the people all stuck people play with the devil way too much way too much like who are you talking to do you even know who you're talking to with this weird magic and shit nerd no morality i gotta get these out of my way so the commandments they're important I don't even know what I'm doing here. There's that hotel that I was talking about with all the traveling. Uh, somebody's got a reputation or the reputation precedes the people. S human resources, prejudice, rivals, whispering liars, harassment, fact-checking, keeping a secret, scandals, bullying, envy, and plot. Something about keys and flings and casinos and all-inclusive. Uh, and this says the savannah. This uh, talks about a desert. Like, y'all know that, like, we didn't get any storms today. But, uh, some shit just, just fucking happened in Las Vegas, too. Lots of fucking rain and shit. That's a sight to see. So, all the things are adding up from the book and the prophecies. Morality. A better angel. Sin. Crime, double standing. We already pulled that out, right? It's okay for you, but not okay for me. Fuck that shit. Extinction, eating alive. Somebody could drive a Jeep. There's some sort of attack going on here. This is a big game, or literally like your big game to take down the Libra is the biggest game. And so the people wouldn't like it. If they, if, if the things happen to them that are happening to you, they, they would crawl in the hole and motherfucking die. And maybe that's why, why they want you to die because they know if the fucking shoe was reversed, you would just want to. Or, uh, you know, I don't know, something like that. There are no obstacles in your way. Follow your heart. The path is safe. The way ahead is clear. Have faith. There's been a lack of that going on. A double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. All right, y'all. Can we be done, please? In a sense, in a sense, purity, joy, you're being encouraged to just be you, be a shining light for the world. Expect positive outcomes to flow from your honesty and pure intentions. The earth and water dragon creates the foundation for new growth. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance free will now that's the shit that gets us all fucked up this does take a break it's a life's work not what does it say get off the treadmill uh a life's work not a season get off the treadmill or maybe get on the treadmill i don't fucking know the answer to your question is no remember yet 
you have free will, you're free to make your decisions. Just remember that you need to make, take responsibility for any choice you make. Meditate and see what your heart says. Y'all, I'm just still sitting here being quiet. I'm not doing anything. I'm not making any splashes. I don't want any new jobs. I have enough motherfucking jobs. I don't want to move. I just moved. I've moved fucking five times in 16 months. So who knows what is coming in, but it's going to be different for everyone. Um, yeah. Anywho. Toodaloo, y'all. Toodaloo.